I started just by upscaling all this video straight from 1080p up to 4K. I then watched it through and highlighted which bits I'd need to upscale from a lower resolution. You see, upscaling from the original 1080p works when that original footage is full 1080p, but there were a lot of scenes in this video that were zoomed in. Trying to upscale these ends up just upscaling the blur instead, so for these I need to shrink the resolution down to remove the blur and then to upscale that instead. There's a trade-off when upscaling, the lower the base resolution, the blobbier and specklier the result is, so in this example it's a big giveaway that it's been upscaled, but I still much prefer it to how it looked originally. The whole intro was a bit zoomed in, and when combined with a low bitrate leading to artefacts and blobby areas, I felt I got a better result to upscale all of this intro from 540p instead, or quarter of 1080p. This lets it fill the walls with what appears to be more detail, the only downside of this is on the rows of roof tiles, which can sometimes be reduced to a fuzzy mess when the resolution is lower. You can see how it flips the direction the tiles are facing in this example, where there's no longer a high enough resolution to draw each row separately. Fortunately this is harder to see in motion because it's displaying 60 rapidly updating images a second, and we can see this compromise is well worth it for the rest of the picture, like on the tree here, or on the edges of the post and cables, or even simply on the writing. Upscaling helps to find the edges of things a lot better. Another big win for upscaling in this example, the walls and bells have been given a very convincing texture, whereas before they were just a blurry mess. Watching the whole video upscaled I think it's easy to forget how blurred the original was. I think the upscaling does an excellent job of mimicking how 4K would have looked in this example. This is a clip from an even earlier video. The upscaled version here is a lot brighter, which I did for artistic reasons because the older video codec I used to use washed out the image quite badly. Again, the upscaling works wonders on the plants and the walls in this image. But as you can see from the original, I then zoom in further still. 540p upscaled will no longer cut it on such a blurry image. So I upscaled from an even smaller resolution and slowly transitioned from 540p upscaled to 270p upscaled as the camera zoomed in. There comes a time when you can go too far with upscaling, and this would be it. But I argue, while no one would have noticed I had done this had I not said, People would have noticed had I not done it. I wanted for this video to demonstrate how good upscaling could be when combined with manual adjustments and tweaks, the true merging of man and machine. Just look at it zooming into his eyepiece. The resolution at the end of this clip is just 80 by 45 pixels, yet I think you'll agree it's a substantial improvement over the 1080p original. Upscaling is a compromise because it means rendering the video again which loses some detail in the darker spots, as well as subtly shifting the colours. In this example you can see that the original image looks a bit redder. This is something you'll only really spot in comparisons though, and I'm banking on the upscaling adding in more detail than it does away with, which it certainly does. Zooming in on the darker patches of this shot, I'm happy with the result. And yes, I'm aware that the new version of Gigapixel Video AI has the option to export all frames as PNG files, which would preserve quality, but it would add another stage to an already complicated process, meaning you'd have to deal with tens of thousands of image files, which is never too enjoyable and it can lead to problems of its own. But that being said, I'll probably do this in future. In this shot, let's zoom in on the writing. As we're able to read, we can spot more problems with how it upscales writing, and indeed when we look closely we can see that the writing is just gobbledygook, but it passes at a glance, which is what you'll be doing when watching the video. Upscaling also likes websites, with its bold colours and sharp edges to everything. In cases like this, where the text is big enough to be readable, the upscaling has no problem making it look sharper. You can see it really wants to try upscaling these thumbnail images too. An unusual real life clip. This being from 2010, it was unlikely to be worthy of full HD resolution, so I crushed this down to 540p which I think looks better on the trees. The rooftops look a bit better too, the text isn't quite so hot, and some of the lines in the distance get a bit drunk. Yeah, maybe I should have left it as is, can't be bothered to re-render for this though. Doesn't look too different here in my opinion. But then, these textures are meant to be simple. Do I really want it to create details which weren't there in the map in the first place? This is the shot I'm proudest of. I upscaled this from something stupidly small like 320 by 180 so although it's very clearly upscaled because it all looks a bit grainy, it's forgivable when you see the sorry state of the original footage. And again here, I'm blown away by this result, especially on the fountain. Upscaling loves being given the space to be creative. But really, everything looks better here, with a possible exception being the distant roof tiles, which we've already covered. Now this is an interesting comparison. 
It's one where I dabbled with sharpening to try and make the original look as close to the upscaled as possible, and looking at the image as a whole I thought I got close, but zooming in showed just how much detail the upscaling was adding to the surfaces, which can be appreciated in long still camera shots like this one. Coming towards the end now, I love what upscaling's done with this wooden post. Doesn't do much with the dark spots, which never had any detail in the original recording either. I'll just upscale from 540p to see what sort of difference it would have made. It would have been better here, but other bits like the balcony and the terrorist's face would have gotten worse. Not great, but not terrible. This was another extremely zoomed in sequence. The colours change quite drastically, but it connects the dots about as well as it could have done on the flashbang and on the CT's knee pad, and it adds grain to the background, which might not be accurate, but the alternative was just to leave it as a horrible blur. And lastly, the moment the CT knows he's messed up. I upscaled each of these bits as an image, and I think you'll agree, the final shot is a hell of a lot better. It even cuts down on the way the red used to bleed across the image. Just for fun, let's zoom in on his eye's reflection. Enhance. Enhance. Brilliant. 